This is Linux Ubuntu 2010 running on one of my old laptops. It's been a while since I used this laptop, so today I decided to install Ubuntu on it and try to play some games from Amazon Luna. For those who are not familiar with Luna, Luna is a cloud gaming platform developed and operated by Amazon. It was announced around the end of September 2020 and you can get it at this moment by invitation only which actually didn't take too long. I think I subscribed and I got approved in less than a week. I mainly played Luna games on a Windows 10 gaming PC, but since I use my gaming rig for video editing as well, I thought I could throw Ubuntu on this laptop and try to play whenever I get a chance. Because Luna runs on the cloud and it worked with Chrome on the PC, I thought it was going to work right away on a Linux system. Well, little did I know, it didn't work right out of the box. You kind of have to do some tweaking to make it work. And I will show you how that can be done in this video. So as you can see, everything seems to be working great on Ubuntu and you can actually play any of the 100 games currently offered in Amazon Luna. If this is something you are interested in trying, hang in here. We will go over the installation of Ubuntu and move on to getting Luna to work on Ubuntu. Now let's make that happen. First, we will need to grab an SD card or a USB thumb drive. I'm going to use an SD card that I have lying around. Then go to Ubuntu website and download the latest distribution for desktop. Next, I'm going to download Rufus, which will allow me to flush a Ubuntu ISO file to the SD card. Now that I have both downloaded, I will launch Rufus, select device, which is the SD card in my case, click on select and locate the Ubuntu ISO image that I downloaded earlier and click start. Next, I am going to remove the SD card and plug it into the computer that I will be using. As you can see, this laptop is running Windows at the moment. I do not want to delete Windows and I do not want to install Ubuntu alongside Windows. Instead, I am going to connect a separate SSD and install Ubuntu in it. This is just my preference. You can install Ubuntu on another SD card, a thumb drive, you can even install it on the same SD card that has the installation files. But in my case, I want it on an SSD just because I have more SSDs than SD cards. I happened to buy 50 SSDs in an auction for $40. I think that was the brightest moment in my 2020. <laughs> Before starting the laptop, I am going to change the boot order in the BIOS or the boot menu. It needs to boot from the SD card where I have Ubuntu installation files. This is different for everybody. In my case, I press F2 on the keyboard, up on reboot. You may have to press a different key on your keyboard to get the BIOS or the boot menu. You can research online for your system make and model to see which function key you will need to press to access the boot menu. If you boot into the correct drive, you should see this, and it's all downhill from this point on. Select your language. I choose minimum installation. I'm going to choose the SSD of 160 gigabyte, which is the drive that I just connected, and click install. Now we just need to create a login account. This will take a few minutes. Restart and make sure you remove the installation media, which is the SD card for me. You may also need to go into the boot menu and change the boot order again. I'm going to do a quick update and upgrade. Now let's try to run Luna on Firefox. This is the error message that you will get. Chrome is not installed by default, so I am going to go ahead and download it and install it.
as you can see, if I try to run Luna on Chrome, I get the same error message. But luckily, there is a workaround. The trick is to download and install this extension on Chrome browser. You can search for the extension on Google and most likely it's going to be the first thing that pops up. Once you have this extension installed, you will need to go into it and make sure you select Chrome Windows. Click on Apply All Windows. Last thing you will need to do is click to refresh the page and you should be all set. For a better experience, Amazon recommends using Luna controller. You can get it off Amazon for 49 US dollars. I ordered one today, but in the meantime, I'm using this cheap wired controller and it seems to be doing the job. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.